Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in this video I'm going to show you the fastest way how we can integrate Salesforce with Google Sheets uh, using Automate.eo and Zapier. Well, first things first, we have to create ourselves an account at, uh, at salesforce.com. Uh, at the moment I'm using this uh, 14 days uh, trial account uh, just to show you how you can make this integration happen. Uh, first things first, uh, we want to go to automate.eo. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And as I said before, uh, yeah, automate.eo is very useful uh, integration app that uh, we can use. So let's go and start on the top corner of our screen uh, with integrations and uh, go to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and click on see all categories. Uh, in this search engine, uh, we should start with writing down Salesforce. So let's go Salesforce. And on the opposite side, as a counterpart, uh, let's go with uh, Google Sheets like this. Oh, not yet, thanks. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple of popular integrations that uh, we can pick from. But if we won't be able to find the integration uh, that we are looking for, keep scrolling down and uh, you'll find uh, this place called create your own integration. Uh, just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with uh, Salesforce. So you have to pick from really a lot of options, but let's stick with the first one. You obviously can pick uh, really any option that you like. And on the opposite side, underneath this action, on the right side, uh, stick to the Google Sheets. So let's also go with the first one. Uh, last thing, we have to hit the Try It Now button. We get redirected to the login window. Uh, you will have to just to log into your automate.eo account and you are basically all a few clicks away from finishing this integration. The other way around, it's through Zapier.com. Uh, which we also need to create account uh, at Zapier and uh, go to the top left corner and click on create Zap. Like this. We can name our Zap, but it's not mandatory. Now uh, we have to set up a trigger. Same as at automate.eo, let's start with Salesforce. Trigger event also, uh, as you can see, there are only four. Automate got like more than 10. So click here. Choose an account. Uh, let's log in with the account that I created a few moments ago. Continue. Now, sales for object, object. Let's go with account. We hit continue. And now we can test our trigger. On the second action, underneath the triggers, we should go with, Max, uh, with Google Sheets and also pick an event. There's more to choose from, hit continue. And the last thing is you have to sign into your Google Sheets. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.